Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinsetic with the Kinsetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So today's YouTube video is going to be a luxury unboxing. In today's video, I will be unboxing and give you guys my initial thoughts and review of my Tom Ford Disco Heels. When I tell y'all this is a shoe and that this is the shoe, it's a shoe and it's the shoe, okay? So if you guys are interested in seeing the shoe and seeing my initial thoughts, initial review, thoughts, comments, all of that, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family because we're doing lit things over here. Okay, we're giving black girl excellence. We're giving black girl luxury. We're giving it all. So make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, And drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments questions or anything that's on your mind after watching today's video and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so just to give you guys some background on this purchase i wanted these shoes since december 2020 i saw a picture of kylie jenner with them on i'll go ahead and insert it here and then i saw a picture with jada with them on and i'll insert that here but once i seen those two and saw like different ways that they were style i'm like oh i need this shoe it just gives like a nice vintage look nice and chunky different from other shoes that i have in my collection so i was like oh that's an excuse for me to go ahead and pick them up right so this is the shoe well the shoe box and i'm actually gonna go ahead and unbox them first and then we'll get into some specs on the shoe so this is the box that they come in this is the standard shoe box that tom ford heels come in so I'm just going to go ahead and open up. I already opened it up because I was thirsty and I wanted to see if they fit before I even did this video. So yeah, I just went ahead and repackaged everything so that it can look nice and pretty for this video. So it comes with my order information in it. So it's just a sheet of paper with my billing address and all of that information. My order number is just on this piece of paper. I'm not going to show you guys because, you know, that's my personal information. And the box did come wrapped with this Tom Ford logo ribbon. It was around the box, but I didn't have the patience to put that back. But this is the contents of the shoe box. So of course you have, let me put this down. So of course you have two dust bags. That's a Tom Ford on them, one for each side of the shoe. So you do have two so that you can use these if you're traveling with the shoes. Whenever I travel with any of my designer shoes, I use my dust bags. So you have that. And then, nice wrapping for the shoe. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. <laughs> And then inside you have both sides of the shoe so i did get these heels in the brown velvet let me go ahead and take this out i got these shoes in the brown velvet and when i tell you guys this is a shoe this is a shoe i'll go ahead and insert a video here of how the shoe looks on foot so you guys can see like you know the full vision because right now y'all probably looking at it like when well, you see on the foot girl when you see on the foot okay so here we are i just wanted to do like a little try on demo with these heels so you guys can see how they look on and i can give you guys some additional details about how i feel about these bad boys okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and put them on so i don't know if y'all can see but my feet are ashy so before you even put these shoes on i would recommend not to put any lotion on your feet before you put these shoes on because as i mentioned the toe bed of the shoe the strap and the trimming around the base of the shoe are all this brown velvet material and if you put like water or anything wet on it it's just gonna mess up the material so i mean if you don't care you could do that but i'm trying to wear these the same amount of dollars that i paid so if i paid 1360 guess how many times i'm gonna wear them I'm going to try to wait up 1360 times. Okay, so my feet are ashy. So I would recommend to prep your skin in advance. So you can go ahead and like what I like to do is I like to oil or lotion my body before I even start my makeup and my hair when I'm getting ready. So that by the time I'm ready to like put my clothes on or whatever, it's already like seeped into my skin because I be dry girl. So I'm going to go ahead and put sheet on. 
and this is how it looks so as i mentioned my foot is literally like on the edge of the shoe but i don't mind that look so i'm gonna make it do what it do and then i'm gonna go ahead and wrap she around do i have this the right way hold on please hold so you can wear this shoe different ways like you could go ahead and layer it up on your leg or you can just like wrap it around and strap it tight oh hold on hold on now or you can go ahead and just strap it like tight around your ankle the holes for the strap are at the ends of the string so you want to be mindful of that too when you're trying to figure out how to wrap the shoe around but yes i like it like this just you know nice cute doing something but just not doing too too much you know what i'm saying so that's my right foot i'm gonna go ahead and put my left foot on now so you want to go ahead and take the strings and wrap them around the back of your foot so they're basically crossed i want y'all to see that they crossed and then it's me trying to be careful girl because i cannot afford to break your ankle especially after paying for these shoes okay <laughs> and then you want to go ahead and wrap this am i doing this right and then bring it around I feel like this one isn't tight enough so you want to make sure it's tight but not like uncomfortably tight so that you can have like a nice clean look and then it does have a little thing to tuck the string in so it's not just hanging so this is how they look on I do want to say that these shoes are heavy they're not like they don't weigh a ton but they are heavier than other shoes so as you guys can see exactly on the back but i like that look because i feel like if it was too long it would just look weird and also the strap of the shoe is like a nice width for me so yeah this is how they look on this is how i put them on and yeah as i mentioned try not to lotion your feet right before so you don't mess up the material i mean it's bound to happen because you know we're gonna wear these 13 60 times but you want to make them last as long as possible so this is how they look on i love them and yeah let's get back into the video this shoe is so freaking beautiful so you guys see on the sole it does say tom ford and gold lettering and these panels the strap across the front the toe bed area the straps and the lining around the base of the foot are all this velvet brown material which i absolutely love just so stunning so yeah this is a shoe i think it's so friggin cute so cute i cannot wait to wear them but i did want to give you guys some information about the shoe as well as how i was able to get the shoe because people make it seem like it's so impossible to get them and when i got them i'm like why were people on twitter and why were people on instagram acting like this shoe was dead stock like i'm confused so i paid one thousand three hundred sixty dollars and ninety four cents for these shoes so the retail price is twelve fifty but after shipping taxes and all of that ended up paying thirteen sixty i did get these shoes in a size 39 my usual size in designer heels is 38 and a half but when i called to speak to a representative they told me that most people got either a half size up or a whole size up so i did go ahead and get the size 39 because that was all that was available on the site the time that i got it but if it's exact a 39 and a half would have been a little bit better but i'm not sure if it would have been too big because i feel like the strap on the front might have been too wide on a 39 and a half if that makes sense so if you are planning on getting these shoes and you're curious about the sizing i would definitely say to go half a size up or a whole size up depending on the width and length of your foot you know your foot best so if you have a wider foot then i would say go ahead and get the whole size up if you want more space on the back but i'm okay with like the fit exact look so it just depends on your preference if you don't like that then i would say go a whole size up if you're okay with the 
foot being on the edge of the foot of the shoe then you can go ahead and do a half size up but i'm not sure if these shoes are still available like in store for you to go in and try them on if you guys have information about that comment down below so that people know but i did not go in store and try these on at all the first time i tried them on was when they came in the mail so to give you guys some specs of this shoe they do have a 140 millimeter shape heel and they do have a black leather lining on the sole which you guys saw and they are made in italy and then on the website it says this style runs small please size up half to a full size as i just mentioned in detail in my last clip so to give you guys information about how i got the shoe because as i told you guys i was on twitter i was on instagram and the girls and the boys were making it seem like it was absolutely impossible to get this shoe so basically i ordered this shoe on june 22nd from the beginning of this year until i got them i would randomly check the site and see if my size and the color that i wanted was available and i did not see it available until june 22nd but i wasn't checking it each and every day i probably check like once a week or once every other week so you know i probably missed some restocks here and there but when i saw this i was able to put it in cart i was able to purchase and i just crossed my fingers and hoped that they did not cancel my order so i placed my order on june 22nd 2021 and then I got my shipping confirmation on June 30th, 2021. Just to give you guys a sense of how long it took between me getting my confirmation and my shipping confirmation, that is that was the time period, the 22nd to the 30th. So three days after I got my order confirmation, I was nervous because I'm like, I think it said like up to three days at that time for processing. So I'm like, oh my God, like, is my order coming through? Did it get canceled? Because originally I wanted to bring them on vacation with me when I went to the Bahamas. But I called them and the lady was like, oh, like this is an error that's in the system. It's allowing people to order and then it's canceling people's orders. So I'm like, hold up holiday. We're not going to do that because I've been waiting for these shoes for all of six months. We're not going to do that. So I was like, okay, I still didn't get an order cancellation. So let me just cross my fingers and hope that everything follows through. So when I got my shipping confirmation, I'm like, okay, this is the, the sealed deal because it's telling me that UPS got my shoes. So got my shoes in the mail. They came two days after I received my shipping confirmation and with UPS I did need to like sign in order to receive my package which I love because I don't need anyone out here stealing my package or none of that. So yeah, it was it wasn't hard to get. I would say that it's not worth paying resale because they are still coming back in stock and Tom Ford does do like I don't want to say random restocks but they are still doing restocks on the shoe so if your size or the color you want is not available i would recommend to probably call their customer service because the lady told me that even if i ordered in june it was like a mistake because the big restock was supposed to be in july and i'm like well that has nothing to do with me because i got my order confirmation so yeah i would just say that if it's not available on the site right now call customer service and see if they have any insight on when they're expecting to do a restock on the shoe the color you want the size whatever the case is make sure that you guys check back the website occasionally just to see if there's one or two back in stock and the day that i got mine my sister was also able to get hers too so we both ordered on june 22nd however my my shoes came in the mail a week before hers so even though we got the same color we got the same size there was a little like lag between me receiving mine and her receiving hers so i did want to say that as well but overall i love these shoes i still have not wore them because I'm just looking for a good outfit so I could pop out with them. So when y'all see me with these shoes on the gram, make sure y'all run it up and make sure y'all show me some love. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you guys do at Kinesthetic underscore so you guys can see the look that I pull off with these shoes. As well as my many other looks that I share on my Instagram feed. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow me. But that's basically all I have for this video as far as the unboxing. As far as my initial thoughts and review on the shoes. If I miss anything, make sure you guys comment down below and let your girl know so i can go ahead and answer it or point you guys to the right direction but i hope you guys found this video helpful i hope you guys enjoyed comment down below and let me know if you guys plan on picking these shoes up if you guys went ahead and picked them up already and also they are available in black and in silver as well i low-key wanted the silver but i was like i feel like i'm gonna get more wears out of the brown versus the silver so i was like let me go ahead and get the brown the black is cute too but i just have too many black heels at this point like when it comes to shoes in my closet 
closet I have the most black heels so I was like let me stay away from black let me get brown it's something different it has a nice velvet material on it so you have options they have the brown they have the black and they also do have a silver and they do have like a black with silver zebra print but that one is a little bit more coin and also I didn't find those cute at all those are just like a one-time wear kind of shoe to me so yeah that's why I ended up getting this color. But comment and let me know if you guys have these shoes. If you guys plan on picking them up. If they're on your list of dream shoes. Comment down below and let me know. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. So this video can be spread to as many people. Across this beautiful YouTube platform as possible. And make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. To see me. More luxury unboxings. My vlogs. This. That. And all of the little things I be doing in my life. But that's all I have for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And until my next video. I'll see you guys later.